So here's the mirror lens equation. It's exactly, I mean, it's, the, it's called the mirror lens equation because we can use it both for mirrors and for lenses. Um, just a quick reminder here. The S stands for distance. I know that's weird. Why do I teach it that way? Because the AP equation sheet has it like that. Okay, I don't, I don't like it. There we are. So this means distance to the object, one over distance to the object plus one over the distance to the image is equal to one over the focal length. With that focal length, please keep in mind that converging lenses have a positive focal point. Diverging lenses, verging, have a negative focal point. That's the main thing you need to keep in mind. Okay, if you get a image distance with a lens that is positive, it means that your image is real. And you may have noticed this by now, but real images and lenses are going to always be inverted. So really when you solve, if you get a positive for your image distance, you're like, hey, it is both real and inverted. You could tell them right away. If you get an image distance that is negative, that is going to be virtual. In other words, on the other side of the lens from the observer and it is going to be upright. So this really tells you a lot. Can't tell you the height though, okay? So in order to do that, we're always gonna have to come back to using this, okay? Um, hi, ho. And I always think of it as D-do, because it's the distance, but it's S-I over S-O. And there's a negative here, okay? Um, so that's going to let you, if you know this side, you can easily find this side because this is the height of the object. Um, this is, I'm sorry, the height of the image divided by the height of the object. You can also find the magnification because the magnification is equal to negative the image distance over the object distance. And you can also keep track of, you know, if you know your magnification, you can just, let's say your magnification is two. That would mean it's twice as big. If you have trouble kind of thinking of that in your head and you want an equation for it, it's just the magnification, the absolute value of magnification times the height of the object will get you the height of the image. That's kind of, I mean, a sketch of the mirror lens equation. It's pretty straightforward, plug and chugs. Um, so I hope that that helps.